Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nin. If you guys are new, please don't forget to subscribe and like, click the bell icon so that you can be notified every time I upload. For today's look, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my glowy look that I have on right now. This is going to be a full face foundation look and focus more on the foundation and how I achieve this look more so than the eye look that I normally would do. All the products that I use will be listed down in the description box along with my social medias. So go check them out and follow me if you haven't yet. Now let's get into this tutorial. So I've already applied my skincare underneath this and I'm starting off with the Smashbox, Smashbox Photo Finish color correcting blend which is a foundation primer and just apply it now it's a dual purpose primer in that it is a barrier before you put your foundation on so that it lasts longer and also if you have any like areas where you want to color correct at the same time it works both ways next for that glowy look I'm going to mix these two you can use any foundation that you have on hand I'm using the wet n wild photo focus foundation and I'm in the shade golden beige I did do a review about this a few months back if you want to know about it more I'll link it down below I'm mixing that with Kiko Milano's shimmer highlighting drops in the color golden chill I'm just gonna mix this on the back of my hand so like this much foundation I'm gonna go a little bit light-handed at first and then just see if I need more because we'll be using this shimmering a little bit later too. And the foundation is like this much, if you can see. And I'm gonna mix it together. Okay. And then with the wet beauty sponge, this is from L'Oreal. Um, it's a very good alternative for the beauty blender since it's affordable and you can pick it up at the drugstore. So that was just one layer. Um, if you want to build it up, which I am going to be doing again, I'm going to do the same process. that's left over on your beauty sponge just drag it down to your neck and a little bit to your ears so that they're all even after this we're going to conceal our under eyes which will be in a separate video I'm not sure which one is gonna go up the foundation routine or the concealer first but if I do happen to put the concealer video up first I'll link it down below so I did my eye makeup off camera I'm using the elf small tapered brush to set the concealed areas around my nose chin and forehead and my under eyes And for the rest of my face, I'm setting it with a translucent powder from Laura Mercia. And it's there's no color to it because it's translucent. Now, if you guys think that this is the super expensive brush that was trending on Instagram, yes, but this is a dupe of it. As you can see, it's like a plastic type of plastic handle. So, no, I'm not going to buy such an expensive brush because 
you know, throw gas. After that's done, we're going to use so the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette Cont uh, in Caramel Toffee and just contour. If you guys want a detailed contouring tutorial, let me know, but I'm just gonna fast forward this. Amazonian Clay Tilt Hour Blush. Now, like I said earlier, we're gonna go back in with that Kiko Milano Highlighting Drops to add that glow into the high points of your face. So this time around, I'm just going to squeeze a tiny bit and place it on my cheekbones. Blend it out. Damn. And I'm just bringing whatever's left on my finger to like my forehead or my temple. I'm doing the same from my nose, tip of my nose, bridge of my nose. And then I'm using it on my cupid's bow. And a little bit underneath my eyebrow. Basically where you normally highlight. The other fun part, grab your favorite highlighter and we're gonna go on top of that again. I'm using my favorite, the Becca Champagne Pop Skin Shimmering Perfector. And this is a fan brush from Morphe M310. Just going to lightly stab where I had done the highlighter. Look at that! Shiz. Dang! Whatever that's left over, going to the forehead. Again on this side. Look at that glow! contour my nose. Got too excited about the freaking glow. Picking up a Morphe E18 brush to go over my nose bridge and my nose tip and all the smaller areas. Lining my lips with the NYX retractable lip lip liner, lip liner in natural. This is ColourPop Ultra Matte Cosmetics in the color, I have no idea, deeper, deeper. 
and use your setting spray and you are done, girl. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. This is a look that I usually go for when I want to feel glowy and all around fresh and natural as well too. I would pair this look up with any type of eye look, but this is the overall glowy, dewy kind of look. If you guys loved it, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below because I'd love to hear your feedback. Follow me on my social medias, which will all be listed down in the description box too. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.